Hey, Virgo, Summon Rising, and Venus. This is what we got going on for January 14 and January 15, 2023. If you'd like to make a purchase, you can go ahead and do so at tarotbarbie.com. I got crystal sage incense, personal readings, and much more. Let's get a Virgo's coming with the Six of Swords, the Ten of Swords, and the Hangman. So it looks like from what I'm seeing here is that a lot of you guys are, are needing healing at the moment because of the crap that you guys have been through. A lot of you guys are looking back at the past on how far you've come and how far you guys, especially within the last three years, has been pretty difficult for you guys. But it looks like you guys are looking back at your past, looking back at how far you guys have come. And believe me, you Virgos, the, the amount of shit that you guys have had, honestly had to go through to get the strength that you guys have to, to tame your own demons to tame your own self, to tame the beast that's in you, to literally tame yourself and, and to carry the strength and the courage and the bravery to literally move on in an area in your life where you had to do things by yourself and only by yourself. Uh, three of Wands, Strength Cards, Six of Swords. Congratulations, Virgos. You are not where you used to be. You guys are continuously moving forward with that fierce energy of being able to go for life, be do what you want to do, be who you want to be, and you're not going to allow anyone to stop you. You guys are healing yourself with the Six of Swords and moving away from anything that does not feel good for you at the end of the day. Nothing is wrong. Ten of, ten of, ten of Swords in reverse, which is everything is fine, and that's because you guys are... You guys are you guys are strong Virgos straight up. You guys keep looking back. You guys continuously look back and look back and look back at how far you guys have come. And I can definitely say that you guys are not the same person that you guys were 2 years ago, 3 years ago, 5 months ago. You're just not the same person anymore. You're ready to get life. It's it's the, the chariot card. It's like you're ready to move forward. And even if that means you guys move forward by yourself, it, that's also fine at the exact same time. You guys have sacrificed so much with the hangman, especially uh, sacrificed yourselves for other people, sacrificed your own happiness to be there for other people, always doing things that will make somebody else feel much more better. You guys have done that with the hangman. You've also stagnated yourself a lot too to be there for everybody else when nobody was ever there for you guys. But in turn, you guys are ready to move on with your life where it goes and let it all go. Uh, Ace of Cups, you're, late, you're letting it go. You're like, you know, this doesn't work out for me. I'm going to release it, let it go. I'm going to step into my Empress energy in the World card because you know that you trust the universe. You know that you trust the world. You know that tr you trust the God as well, that whatever is meant for you is always going to be yours no matter what. Empress energy and the World card. You guys got great energy with the bottom of the deck of the Sun energy there too. And you know that with the Knight of Pentacles, you walk with a lot of integrity. You, you 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 know exactly how to maneuver in life now because you've learned so much shit that had hurt you with the Ten of Swords, the betrayal, the backstab, the fuck shit, the fucking bullshit, the attacks, the spiritual attacks. You guys have gone through it all. Nobody can ever say to you and, and, and say, oh, Oh, you're weak or no, no, you're not weak because you got the chariot card to the strength card. You're finally looking back at your past and saying, you know what, should I like if you knew what you knew now, you know, <laughs> would you have given up so easy? And the answer is no, because you guys continuously kept moving forward. <sighs> and you guys can do that with grace. And now that you guys are stepping into that Empress of the World card, it's like everything is going to be okay for you guys. And you guys know that everything's going to be okay as well. A lot of you guys may have suffered from a lot of sadness or depression with the Five of Cups, Page of Cups, but you guys needed the healing. And so and for that, Spirit came in and, and healed you guys. You guys need to come out of your head with the Eight of Swords in reverse. This is a lot of anxiety. Maybe a lot of you guys suffered from a lot of anxiety before, but you guys did what you needed to do to, to take care of yourself with the Seven of Pentacles and the Page of Cups. And you you know what it looks like you guys are pretty satisfied with that with how far you guys have come you should actually be I don't think you guys hear it enough because I I don't believe that you guys are around people who can who have the ability to tell you oh hey you know what I'm actually really proud of you I don't think you guys hear that hear that excuse me on a daily basis I don't think people really see your growth I don't think people even have the balls legit to tell you guys that you've accomplished so much, even though you may not see it or you see it for yourself. You only, only you know that, you know what, what you've been through with the last three years, a lot of people wouldn't be able to walk in your own shoes, right? So I'm going to let you guys know, Virgos, I am incredibly proud of you guys. You guys have come a long way. And you guys should be pretty satisfied. You guys have watered your plants. You guys have watered your, your, your goals. You guys have did what you guys needed to do to make sure that your manifestations continue to grow. The emperor card, that's you guys stepping into your emperor energy. I didn't even clarify it. I, it wasn't even, didn't even need to be clarified, I guess. 
uh, that you guys are stepping into your power, stepping into having control, more control of your life. It's very intimidating when you go for somebody who is very weak and who gets beaten and, and oh, <laughs> who goes through a lot of things in, in their life and people bully you and hurt you and, you know, you go through some shit and abandon you and whatever. Now you guys have full, full control of yourselves with the Emperor card, which is absolutely great, especially with people who tried to take from you, steal from you, lie on you, and to try to make you look like you're the bad guy. With the Seven of Swords, King of Wands, the Ten of Cups, there may have also been an Aries Leo Sagittarius who's really bad to you guys at one point or who was about to be bad to you guys very, very soon. This person here, Virgos, they're still holding on to your energy and they're, they think that they're going to be able to get away with it. It looks like a lot of you guys want to sneak away from this person, but in the end, it's saying that you, it's not, you guys can't do that. You need to actually step into that emperor energy. You guys actually need to have full control. You need to let people know exactly where you stand without hurting people's feelings, obviously, but let them know, hey, you know what? This is intolerable. I'm not living like this. You are in control of your own life. Nobody can tell you otherwise. For that, this King of Wands is no longer happy. Aries Leo Sagittarius, who's fighting a lot. Maybe this person's in a domestic abusive relationship or whoever this person is dealing with with the Five of Wands. They are a spire. They stalk a lot. The Six of Wands in reverse to the Two of Pentacles. Be mindful, Virgos, that this could be an enemy that's very, very close to you guys right now. It's an enemy at the gates. <clears throat> There's an enemy at the gates right now with the two of pentacles who's like going through some shit and who's very annoyed and who's very agitated and they are your enemy and they sit there and they spy on you and they watch you and they talk their shit with the page of swords so that way they can fight with you and beef with you and this person wants control and power over you because they see you as somebody who has more control and more power of everything around you. You is very intimidating energy and when other people are intimidated by your energy, what do they want to do? They want to fight with you. They want to talk their shit. They want to spy on you. They want to ruin what, what makes you happy. They want to take that away from you, right? Ten of cups in reverse. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, this person is a very bad person with the Seven of Sword. They know exactly what they're doing, but they're trying to act like what they're doing is not wrong at all. But meanwhile, they got the King, Ten, Five, Page, Six of Wands, this fucked up energy. Fucked up energy. So you guys need to get rid of this person immediately. Get them out of your energy right away. Two of Pentacles. Get them out of your energy right away. Right away. Okay? Okay. You guys need to make sure that you guys do better with protecting your energy with the Four of Pentacles, standing your ground, King of Swords, and also the Wheel of Fortune. Your your energy, the, the, the shifts are already coming in anyway, right? You guys have had a lot of people sit here and attack you. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here, and all that energy that they've done to attack you is now going back onto them with the Eight of Wands, Ten of Wands, and the Death card. Very scary energy, Virgos. Very scary energy. Could also be a Scorpio here as well. That if this person was sitting, because people are sitting, stepping in, like everything is fine for you with the Ten of Swords Emperor because you guys are entrepreneurs, you're businessmen, businesswomen. You're up there, you're doing your thing. You have full control. You're very intimidated. I can see you being very intimidated. And people are intimidated by your energy. They're intimidated by your presence. They're intimidated by how the hell do you still have so much control after all the attacks with the Knight of Swords and the Star card? How do you have so much? Because these people are sitting there attacking you to steal your star energy, right? They're stealing your star energy from you. They're stealing your glow up. They're trying to steal your 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 energy so that way they can become successful. There's this is what they're trying to steal from you with the Knight of Swords and the Star card, and all that energy that they've done onto you guys is now hitting them back. They are filled with stress, calamity, burden, and it's all piling up on them one by one by one. They're actually not able to get out of it, and for that it comes to end in destruction energy. It actually comes more so into destruction than more so an ending because their ending would be the Ten of Wands. They can't carry anymore. How much more can life get to them after what they just done to you? So for that, they become blocked on a spiritual level with the Knight of Cups, Ace of Wands. That cup is come that 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 wand is coming towards them any now. So if this person was doing any kind of magic work or whatever, that wand is coming in to block them from being able to move forward because justice is coming in, their karma's coming in, God's not happy, spiritual spirit spirit's not happy, divine's not happy, three of swords, this person's gonna end up heartbroken, and they're gonna try and find a way to make amends with the page of wands to the page of pentacles. That's them trying to find ways to make offerings and to also pray up at the exact same time. So that's one way I'm going to read it. Let's read, switch it up and go to a next energy for for the rest of you guys, all right? 
Uh, you guys may have walked away from a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, a Leo. This person's they've been thinking a lot about you for the last three months. This person's been wanting to come back towards you guys so that way they can heal the relationship between the two of you. They're hoping that you guys can forgive them and that you guys are not going to be mad at them when they come back for you. A lot of you guys have not spoken to this person for about three months, three years, two years here as well. But you guys feel like when you guys are looking back with the two of wands, you feel like this person was nothing but selfishness, cancer energy. You feel like they were selfish. They weren't thinking about anybody else but themselves. Pisces energy here too. And after a long period of time of them not talking to you, they're hoping that they can come back for you and offer you this Ace of Cups. However, though, the Ace of Cups is now in reverse. The Ace of Cups is not in reverse because of what they did to you. They've already shown you who they were over here when they had abandoned you and left you. The Ace of Cups is now officially in reverse is because this person, you know that this person has nothing to offer you. When this person, when you needed this person the most or when you guys were clicking up with this person and you guys were fucking around with them, you, they, they may have had you like a page energy. Maybe you didn't have a lot going on in your life. Maybe you didn't, you weren't successful. Maybe you didn't have enough money. Maybe you were living paycheck to paycheck. Maybe you were, you know, you got your paycheck and, but then the first week of your paycheck, you didn't have any money for the next week. Soft shit. This is the life. Like, this is how life is. All right. It's very, it's, 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 it's life is hard. All right. It is what it is, Virgos. And, and so now they want to come back for you. They've been taking a very long time with the Knight of Pentacles. So they, they've been taking a long time. But from what I'm seeing now is now that you know yourself, now that you know that you're an empress or an emperor, now that you know your, now that you know what you carry and 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 what it is that you want, and now that you know that what you're not gonna settle for and and be around people for stupid shit, I don't really see you guys being able to forgive this Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, this Pisces, this Cancer, this Leo for what they've done to you. You guys are looking towards the future and coming into the. To the conclusion of the world upright. You're ready to close up the cycle because a lot of you guys have been so overwhelmed by this person. A lot of you guys need to start drinking your water, Virgos. You guys are very dehydrated. And you guys are got so sick and tired of fucking waiting. You guys have waited for almost two to three years. You guys have waited for such a long time for this person to come back. And now that you guys pulled your energy away from them and you're stepping into that graceful, divine, feminine, divine, masculine energy and you're ready to close up cycles. So now this person's gonna try and come back. But you guys are saying, nah, you know what, I've been there, I've done that, I, I, seen what, I seen how you are, you didn't want my love back then, so what makes you think that I'm going to think that you want my love now, right? Because when they didn't want it, they didn't want it, they showed you that they didn't want it. So now that they're going to come back for you, they're moving very slowly, but they're going to try and come back anyway. It doesn't look like you're going to want their love, honestly. It doesn't look like you guys are going to want their love because you guys know what love is and, and you know that the love that this person was giving towards you was not real love. And this person has been going through a lot of sadness or you guys have been going through sadness, Virgos. It's just been a lot of rough waters for you guys for the last three years. Some of you guys have been really sad, um, but you're no longer going to fucking think about it anymore. You're ready to focus on yourself. You, The last seven months, you've been really getting yourself and your shit together by setting your goals. Uh, just saying, setting an example. Setting an example. <sighs> Maybe you're going to have to put this person in their place to let them know this is not how shit works. You don't sit here and hurt people and ghost them and walk away from them without, without closure. It really hurts people's feelings, right? And uh, with the Seven of Pentacles, I do believe that this person thinks about you guys quite a bit. And you guys are finally able to step out of that energy. You guys also have an Aries, a Taurus, a Libra here who's also very stubborn at certain times. This person almost feels like they have to control themselves and control their demeanor when it comes to you. Because they don't want to act like they're a little bitch or whatever. And that they're having to come running back towards you. But they're, here, they're right there. It, the energy goes like this. I'm reading it like this. How I choose to read my cards is, is, is a me thing, is, 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 is my thing, all right? So in the end, they're going to try and come back towards you. But right now, when the emperor is in the heart of the reading, they're, they're trying to be like they're controlling, they're dominating, they're stubborn. They don't want to make the first move. But all they're doing is deceiving themselves with the seven of swords, king of wands energy. They're deceiving themselves. The longer that, because they're still holding on to you, you know? So the longer that they continuously stay domineering and and stubborn and and annoying all right you guys know that it, it that this person was deceiving themselves at the end of the day and just like whatever i said to you guys before you guys have an enemy in your energy here as well aries leo sagittarius this person needs to go boop the fuck bye like goodbye if you're an enemy and you're coming towards a virgo just stay the fuck away from them 
no, all right? Also, Virgos, you have an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person thinks that they're going to be able to sneak back into your life, but all they know is that they're not going to be able to give you the satisfaction. They're, they're, they're also unhappy with the fact that you also are not going to be wanting them back with the Ace of Cups or the Empress. Now that you know yourself, it's like, damn, they figured themselves out. They know who they are. They know what they bring to the table. And this person's still going to hold on to your energy, but they still can't give you anything anymore. So ten, 10 of Cups to the Five of Wands, I do believe that that's very fucking abusive, abusive, very fucking abusive energy. Very abusive energy. Very. Like, this is somebody who gets beaten the shit out of. And you still stayed in that relationship? You still stayed with them? <sighs> Maybe the police ended up getting involved here, but even if the police had gotten involved, it's like nothing ended up working out anyway with the Six of Wands or the Two of Pentacles. Like, you probably called the police and said, oh, this person's beating you. And the police like, okay, we'll investigate it, but we're not going to do nothing about it. Six of Wands in reverse, Two of Pentacles. Because realistically, when they're, hitting, when they're hitting you, you're also hitting them back. So for that, they can't determine what's the truth from a lie. Two of Pentacles, they can't, they can't figure it out. They can't figure it out. So it's just a horrible relationship. And if you're in something like that, you guys need to figure that out and get out of it. Nobody wants to live their life being beaten up. Like, you know what I mean? Help yourselves out a little bit. <sighs> anyway, Virgos, with the Four of Pentacles, you guys got a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius who's still holding on to your energy. This person wants to come towards you and talk to you. They don't feel like the cycle between the two of you guys is over as of yet. They still want to try and find a way to come back for you. But a lot of you guys are like minding your own business with the King of Pentacles. They're going to come quickly towards you. They're going to rush quickly in to come towards you. It could be an Aquarius, a uh, Scorpio here too. This person wants to come in. They want to speak to you. They want to come in fast for you too, hoping that you guys can work on the relationship. But a lot of you guys are saying no. Like... I, you got nothing to do with them. It's the Ten of Wands to the Death card. You're like, nope, you caused me nothing but stress, burden. You made me feel sad. I had to sit down and heal myself, and I had to do it all by myself. And for that, you're t saying, you know what, Thank, thanks for coming back, but at the same time, I don't really want this energy anymore. So the energy is now officially blocked, because a lot of you guys may have blocked this person too, or are about to block them. And the funny thing about it is, is that even if they find a way to get you over here, it looks like you guys are going to re-block them again. Maybe some of you guys have already blocked this person and they're going to have to find a way to contact you. Maybe they're going to contact you off of a fake number. They're going to find a way to contact you at the end of the day. And when they, when you guys, when they do this, you guys are going to block them again. These are the ones. You guys are going to block them again. And then they're going to come running back for you again. They're going to, they're going to keep finding ways. Somebody here is going to make fake numbers, <sighs> apps, whatever to get a hold of you and they're going to tell you like hey no i want to be with you cancer pisces scorpio i want to make the relationship work but it's a hierophant in reverse it's like you guys are not it, the relationship is not getting anywhere it's just a lot of sadness betrayal and heartache and a lot of you guys are going to be trying to figure out or this person is going to try and have to figure out what their next move is going to be but it looks like with the page of wands they're trying to find a way find more ways to come back into your energy so that way they don't feel like you abandoned them the way that they had abandoned you at the bottom of the deck you guys got the sun card so you guys got a lot more happiness coming towards you guys especially when it comes to your workplace too it looks like you guys also have manifested a new job for yourself so congratulations virgos it's going to bring you the job secretary position is what i'm seeing here office work is what I'm seeing here working on a computer telecommunications whatever you guys do it's going to be bringing in the money that you guys need and that's because you guys manifested it with the magician eight of pentacles in the sun card you guys so much more happiness is coming for you guys and I think in turn this is you guys are ready to let this energy here go whoever doesn't treat you properly and for that you're going to focus on your own happiness success prosperity uh working and hustling yeah judgment's being called in on the five of pentacles here as well because a lot of you guys may have not had had mo any money for a while so you guys needed this and it's it's a gift from the universe with the four of cups which is going to bring you guys the energy of being able to help you heal have fun kind of like live a little bit and kind of more so being able to enjoy life because god doesn't want you to sit there and and live that mundane type of life work and pay bills working is that's not that's a very mundane type of life you know what i mean so enjoy your life virgos enjoy your life be around people who love you go out do your thing and, and have that freedom right and yeah uh also virgos a leo virgo gemini capricorn 
Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus energy. This person wants to come back and work on the relationship. They're hoping and they're manifesting you to come back in. But judgment's already involved in this situation as well. The judgment is being called on the Five of Pentacles to the Three of Cups. They saw that this person had put you in a three-party situation. They saw that this person had made you feel like you're not worthy. They saw that this person may have not made you feel good at all and that they abandoned you and left you. Maybe in the winter season, maybe in the month of December, this person didn't just got up and left. And they're going to try and come back towards you guys again with the four of cups. But it looks like you guys are like, no, like you're not happy about it anymore. And a lot of you guys are going to find out the truth that this person is nothing but toxic. And it, you guys are, might also find out this is a karmic situation that you guys have been dealing with and maybe even codependent. But it looks like you guys are defending yourself and setting yourself some boundaries with the seven of wands to the ace of pentacles. And that is coming for you on a golden plate that it's OK to defend yourself. It's OK to set your boundaries. That it's okay because you guys are so resilient. You guys have been through so much crap in your life that you know exactly when to put your guard up when when people come at you f uh, fucked up and sideways, right? So in the end, uh, somebody here is also going to try and find a way to barter with you. Well, if you do this for me, then I'll do that for you. Yeah, I think you guys are going to be really skeptical about it with the nine of wands and you're bringing in that tower. You're like, no, fuck that. Like, I that that's not how shit works. This is not a transaction. Like, if you guys are doing any type of transaction with somebody or they're wanting to do some sort of relationship or transaction here with you that's not of work energy or whatever, it looks like you guys are going to, like, say, fuck that, nine of wands, tower card. You're, you're going to let the tower come in. Towers is not something that you guys fear. Towers are something that you guys know how to handle when the tower does come in. And especially if it was an Aries, this Aries is going to get that tower coming towards them. They're going to get that tower coming towards them. They're saying that you guys, there's a three-party situation. There's people in a workplace here. There's people in the workplace here who don't feel good at the moment with the five of pentacles. Let me go back one second, Virgos. You know how I am. There's people in a workplace here who are seeing you glow up with the sun card to the eight of pentacles. They're seeing that you're the magician. They see that you're very powerful. You're very creative, that you're capable. You get everything and you get your shit done, that you are just absolutely astonishing and very magical about yourself with the magician, eight of pentacles and the sun card. People are actually seeing this and they're, and they're watching you. They're they They sit here and they watch you and they, and they recognize that about you. So judgment's being called on the five of pentacles. How come you work so hard and hard and hard and hard and hard, but you're not getting any why is it that you're not getting anywhere and that's the truth that's what the ace of swords that's because low vibrational energies are attaching themselves to your energy so that way they can suck your energy fucking dry exchange it with their energy so that way you end up getting their shitty energy and they get up and they end up getting your good energy so that way they end up succeeding and then you end up in the five of pentacles all the way fucked up but you're sitting there busting your ass off left right and center and you're not getting anywhere and that's because you're carrying their energy so you guys are gonna have to figure that part out virgos i don't i can't tell you any on the on the channels i can't i can't go any further than that you know that's about it that's as far as i can go but there is there is a group of people who are doing that towards you guys with the three of cups and you guys have been defending yourself with the with the seven of wands and spirit and the angels are saying that's the right thing to do with the ace of pentacles it's the right thing to do you're you're not you're not wrong for defending yourself because you're humble but you're defending yourself you're not a weak person. You know how to set your boundaries absolutely 100. And you don't have a problem bringing that tower, especially on anybody who comes and tries to take anything away from you guys, right? <sighs> People are... Something about the word exuded, exuded on the lover's card, all right? So there's, gonna, there's an Aries who thought that they can come into your life, talk their shit, whatever. They're saying that this Aries is about to hit that tower they should have been kinder with the lover's card there but they decide to be a fool and hit a tower and they did and they came after the wrong one somebody here there's an aries here who came after the wrong one and and they're get, they're about to get that tower that tower is coming in for them yeah all right there's also a cancer pisces scorpio who's about to get fucked up too is it Cancer Pisces Scorpio is about to get all the way fucked up because you defended yourself. This tower is now falling on the King of Cups's head, which is going to put them in the Ten of Swords to the Eight of Cups. They're going to have no choice but to walk away from you. They're going to have no choice because this is as far as it can possibly go for anybody to get this fucking. The Ten of Swords are literally falling on this King of Cups. Ten of Swords are finally are. Oh, Wow, Virgos, finally, they said finally. It's finally falling on the King of Cups. Maybe this King of Cups did a lot of stupid shit onto you guys and then you guys started to defend yourself and now this person's getting way, all the way fucked up. So that tower is literally falling on top of a Cancer Pisces Scorpio's head. More so, Scorpio energy, Aries energy, Gemini energy. 
It's coming for all three of them, all of them. They're all going to get put in the Ten of Ten of Swords. So that Three of Cups over there is the Cancer Pisces Scorpio, which is a Scorpio, an Aries, and also a Gemini. All of these three people are the Three of Cups, and you guys are realizing that now, all right? And they're going to have no choice but to leave it alone and walk away with the Eight of Cups because this is as far as they, can, they cannot carry that. What they did onto you, you guys have about Ten Swords because of all the pain that they caused you. Plus another 10, plus another 10. So 10 from the Gemini, 10 from the Aries, and also 10 from the Scorpio. That's about 30 swords that they've, that they've done onto you multiple times. But they can't even handle 10 swords? Okay. All right. So now they have no choice but to walk away with the Eight of Cups. So you guys are going to continue to take care of yourself and heal yourself. Angels are stepping in for you guys, Virgos, to heal yourselves, to... to, to, to <sighs> the spirits and the angels, Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel... The biggest angels are coming in to help you heal, to help you understand who you are and what you are, that you're always going to be this successful, humble, beautiful, single, you know, self-sufficient queen of wands. Like, this is who you are. You're very strong. You're very powerful. you got this really beautiful heart about you, too. You're very highly protected at the same time. And you guys are like these cute little, these <laughs> you guys are these cute little cute little queens and and single queens and single kings here and divine loves you guys honestly so so much they'll always do everything they can to be there for you because they've seen that a lot of people have not reciprocated that energy towards you so it looks like the angels are coming in with a gift for you guys that you guys had know nothing about because a lot of you guys have been hidden with the moon card to the hermit card literally yo when god's hiding you god is hiding you for a specific fucking reason God hides people for a specific reason because they know that when people are getting attacked, spiritually attacked, gang stalked, and enemies are at the gates, or enemies are at the gates, yeah, God is going to make sure that they protect you at all costs, right? So you guys have been in hermit, like hustling, working, doing your thing, and Spirit is coming in and giving you guys a gift. You guys have a lot of hidden enemies around you guys as well. It looks like there's a, a, a hidden enemy is going to be creeping up on you guys very, very soon. But I want you guys to know it does not matter. It's all going to be illuminated. You guys are going to see it for exactly what it is. You guys have gone through so much stress. And the thing that's going to poison, it looks like these people's minds are going to be fucking poisoned, Virgos, for what they've done to you. And because the angels are coming in to bless your life with this big gift, it's going to put you guys in the position of the Ten of Pentacles. Success, fortune, happiness, blissfulness, groundedness, family, home, whatever it is that makes you guys feel like you got the Ten of Pentacles, God and the angels are coming in to bless that for you with the prosperity, Six of Pentacles, that's prosperity coming for you. A lot of you guys don't even see this coming for you guys because a lot of you guys have been in so much darkness for the last little while that you guys wouldn't even be able to know. Hermit card, moon card, no, Virgo. You guys wouldn't even see this coming for you guys because you guys are just hiding and fucking in the, in the, you guys are just simply hiding. You guys are just hiding. You guys are, have been in hermit hiding. You haven't been doing nothing. And this is the energy that you guys carry. And then, you know, they've the people that are going to be seeing you blessed up and you getting your prosperity and your success, your happiness, you bloom. You bloom. You're the Nine of Cups. You bloom. Look, look, look. You see? Nine of Pentacles, the Moon card, and the Nine of Cups. That's because you bloom from the darkness. You bloom from the darkness. You bloom from the fucking hell that these people have caused you. You bloom from it. And these people are going to be all the way fucked up. Four of swords, nine of swords as well. They're going to have really, really bad times. Maybe even bad dreams are going to be coming in for this person. Maybe it could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, who's going to end up having a lot of horrible things coming towards them at the end of the day. And realistically, I think you guys know damn well who these people are for you, who are not good for you either. Um, also, Virgos, uh, there's going to be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius who's been thinking about you guys a lot. A lot of you guys may have had to put this person in check to let them understand to either get their shit together or choose the right cup. What you guys are looking for is true love, and that's the only love that you guys want. You guys don't want, excuse me, you guys don't want fake love. You don't want stupid shit. You guys don't want none of that crap. What you guys are looking for is somebody who's going to be able to give you the love that you guys are looking for with the Queen of Cups and the Knight of Wands. Somebody here is about to leave a uh, Taurus Virgo Capricorn to go running towards somebody from the past with the Queen of Cups. Someone here is about to be left. There's a Taurus Virgo Capricorn who's about to get ghosted or about to get cheated on. <sighs> 
And I think in turn, this Queen of Cups really doesn't want nothing to do with the Knight of Wands at all because this Queen of Cups knows that this person is very selfish, very manipulative, very conniving. And, and realistically, this is a Three of Pentacles, three-party situation, dealing with more than fucking three people for that matter. This person could have been dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And everyone's going to be leaving this Aries, Leo, Sagittarius behind. You guys look like you guys still want to work on the relationship, but I think in turn, you this person here with the Two of Cups needs to get their shit together. They're still thinking about their past. They're still stuck between their past and the person that they're with at the moment, which is very fucked up. Eventually, they're going to be coming back for you guys, and there is a high priestess. You guys know. They're saying that you guys actually know. You're connected. You, you understand what's going on. In the end of the day, this person is lost. They're confused about their past and their future. They don't know who they're going to be able to. They don't know who they're going to want to choose from. There is going to be a reunion coming in with the four of wands, six of cups. This is somebody from your past. They're coming in. They're going to want to see you. They're going to want to reunite with you. If you guys were acting like you didn't want this person, they're going to run back from their past. Then once they leave, once that person leaves them with the five of swords, they're going to want to come back and work on their relationship with you with the two of cups, three of pentacles. They're still indecisive with the two of swords. They don't, they don't really know what it is that they want in life. But all they know is that they do miss you with the six of cups and they're going to want to reunite with you with the four of wands. It is your decision on how you choose to use your intuition. You guys are coming off as somebody who's very mysterious as well. But in the end, you need to use your intuition. Do you want to be with somebody who's able to get up and leave you at any given time? In the end, whatever I say is, is what I'm t telling you guys because this is the reading that I have here. But you have to learn to listen to your own voice. You have to learn to listen to your own intuition and listen to your own gut feeling. If you can't make a decision with the two of swords of the high priestess, then do not make a decision at all. It's like going to the mall. You see a red shirt. You're like, do I like this shirt? Mm, I have to think about it. I don't know if I like it. Then I guess that means the answer is no. Because normally when you like something, you jump on it. You're like, yeah, I'm going to get that right away. And you buy it. But if you have to think about it, then I think you guys should take that in consideration too. But in the end, this person is going to try and come back towards you. Somebody here is going to also receive a gift and there is going to be a reunion. And I think deep down that you guys are going to know exactly what this person did to you and who it is that they went to go fuck around with. But I think in turn, you guys are not going to say nothing about it with the high priestess and you're going to keep it a silent and you're going to keep it a secret as well. But I do see a reunion coming in for you guys. Thanks, cuties. Bye.